What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We all have been very excited and waiting for the One UI 7.0 beta launch and that is most likely happening in the coming week. Now there has been a lot of leaks about this news on Twitter. Most of the leaksters on Twitter are expecting the One UI 7.0 beta to launch next week and that is something we all have been expecting in fact because it's been quite a long wait and if they don't launch it in the next 7 to 10 days, it would be very difficult for them to test the beta for the next one, one and a half months because they have to release it in the month of January on the S25 series. So they need at least one and a half to two months to test the beta version of One UI 7 based on Android 15 and then release the stable version in the month of January when they launch the S25 series. So we are expecting the One UI 7 beta to launch next week. And as usual, this will be launched in only a couple of countries. Uh, the first countries to receive it will be US and Korea. And and a few more countries will follow including India in the coming weeks. So if you're in Korea or in the US, you'll be the first to get the beta version of One UI 7. And as soon as you get it, I don't suggest you guys to install it unless you're using your Galaxy phone as a secondary device. If your Samsung Galaxy phone is a primary device, then I suggest you to wait for at least a one or two beta testing to complete and then you can go ahead and install it. I will keep you guys posted about that. All this while we have been seeing loads of leaks about One UI 7. We more or less know about what's coming in the uh, on the first beta of One UI. We have got the all new animations on One UI 7 which is going to be just incredible. Apparently it is smoother than ever and the transitions also look pretty good. Animation and transition is the core part of any operating system. Many of us wanted to see Samsung doing some changes in the animation department and finally it is happening on the One UI 7. We are also going to see some new UI changes. We are going to get most of the settings options at the bottom of the screen. We are going to see some uniformity and consistency when it comes to using the setting menu options which will be at the bottom of the screen on the One UI 7. And just recently Bennett Brenner Pro has also shared a screenshot where he says One UI 7 volume panel looks pretty good. It has got this frosted glass background and these volume bars also look pretty cool there. Likewise, we have got many changes on the quick panel and notification panel. We are going to have a separate quick panel and notification panel on One UI 7. We can have it separately or we also have an option to have it together like how we have it on the One UI 6. We have got some new improved parental controls which we discussed in my previous video. And it seems Samsung is also working on a new cloud application. We do not know much about it at the moment. And the auto blocker feature is also expected to get enhanced. Samsung is expected to add some additional security options for the maximum restrictions under auto blocker setting. Then we've got some brand new icons which we have already seen and I'm also expecting the dark mode for these icons. I'm not very sure whether they're going to release it or not. Even if they don't release it, you can go ahead and install these dark icons which you're seeing here on my Galaxy phone. I have posted a separate video about this. There is an application called Icon Pack Studio on which you will find various different free uh, icon packs. Among them, this One UI 7 dark icon packs also look pretty cool. You can go ahead and install it. I will leave a link for that video in the description. We have also seen some changes happening on the lock screen where we have seen these live activities. At the bottom of the screen, you will see this capsule on which you will be able to see the live activities. If the music app is running or the YouTube videos are running or let's say the stopwatch is running, all that will come here and sit here at the bottom on the spill. And we also have this beautiful looking charging animations on One UI 7. Recently, we have also seen a leak about thermal throttling. Apparently the One UI 7 will give us an option to completely disable thermal throttling. If you are a gamer, you will love this feature. You'll be able to use your phone's capabilities to its fullest potential while playing the games. When the thermal throttling is disabled, the phone may heat up while gaming, but you will not have any frame rate drops or uh, any kind of stutters or anything while gaming for longer durations. So that's a fantastic option, which will be in the developer's settings as per one of the leaksters Chunbai on uh, Twitter. So I hope we get this feature on the One UI 7. And then we also saw a new feature called notification summaries. Uh, the AI is going to uh, summarize all the notifications that we get from a specific application and it is going to display it on the lock screen. So that is another feature which has been leaked. I'm not sure how many of us will be using that, but yes, we are going to get that feature 
as per one of the leaks on Twitter. Apart from these, we are going to see some amazing features on GoodLock as well. We have already seen the animation options on a GoodLock's Home Up module, where we can select different types of animations. We can select the uh, iOS animation, pixel animations, or one of our animations, or we can further tweak the animations. That is something which we have never seen before. So that's going to be a very interesting feature, which I would like to showcase in the coming days. So stay tuned for that video as well. Then Samsung may be adding some brand new widgets as well some of them which we have already seen in my previous videos many other system applications also may be getting some brand new widgets which are going to be very useful but so far we have not seen any major leaks about the battery optimization options i'm not very sure whether we are going to get some additional uh, options or tweaks for the battery optimization on one ui 7 let's hope samsung improves the battery performance on the upcoming iteration of one ui these are some of the major changes which we are expecting on one ui 7 as soon as we get the update i will keep you guys posted uh, stay tuned for the videos i'm in india so i may be getting this update after us and korea gets it so you guys will have to wait for some time for me to make these videos and post it i really wish the beta program was available globally for everyone to uh, experiment it of course we can understand there will be some limitations from the samsung's end to make the beta available for everyone across the globe but anyways a few countries at least are getting are privileged to get the one ui 7 beta so stay tuned and also let me know which feature would you like to see on one ui 7 other than what we have already discussed or already seen on Twitter or uh, any other platform, drop a comment and let me know what do you expect on One UI 7. And also let me know which is your favorite feature on One UI 7. Is it the animations? Is it the quick panel? Uh, is it the uh, icons or the camera tweaks? Let me know whatever you have in your mind. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. The wallpaper download link is in the description. And do not forget to uh, watch the video on this icon customization that is also linked in the description. Check that out. And while you do that, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.